एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर रेहाना अंजुम एच ओ डी केमिस्ट्री प्रोफेसर एट लॉर्ड्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हैदराबाद टुडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस इंट्रोडक्शन टू वाटर केमिस्ट्री इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डील विद इंट्रोडक्शन सोर्सेस ऑफ वाटर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ वाटर applications of water impurities of water and its sources hardness and its type disadvantages of hard water and the last characteristics of potable water let me starts with the introduction water is widely distributed on in nature near about 75% of water is present in the mat in the form of matter on the earth surface beside the visible water on earth surface near about 3 under the 3 km of water is present beneath the earth air also contain 12 to 15% of water along with that all living organism plants and animals are also contains the water if we we'll take the example of our human body 75% of water is present in brain blood also consist of 83% of water heart also contain the 79% of water plants and vegetables and fruits may also contain 90 to 95% of water coming towards the sources of water mostly the water which is present it is in the form of the rain water the river water spring water and the sea water along with that some of the water is also present in underground which is in the form of the well water or we can say the hand pump which we are taking out coming towards the properties of water first of all tell you about the physical properties of water water boils at 100 degrees centigrade its melting point is 0 degree centigrade its chemical formula is h2o average molar mass is 18.0158 g per mole and its iupac id is water which is nothing but the oxygen density of water is 997 kg per cubic meter while coming towards its chemical properties its ability to dissolve the substance many substances easily can dissolve in water its self ionization it will form h3o that is hydronium ion and hydroxyl ion it has the also the capacity for the buffer it also shows the chemical reactivity and it also shows few acid base reaction in that also we can say that the water molecule which is made up of h2o that is a two hydrogen atom bonds to the oxygen atom it's a universal solvent its polarity is 1.855d water is present in three state solid as ice liquid as simple water and vapors is just like a gas polarity water uh, you can see also the water polarity or dipole moment which is 1.885 the heat of vaporization is 2260 joule per gram and its specific heat is 4.1 4.184 joule per gram degree centigrade now major comes towards the different types of impurities of water whatever the water we are using for the domestic purpose or the drinking purpose or industrial purpose they are not pure form here the impurities which are there we can classify it into the two categories the first one is ionic and dissolved impurities while we can also classified as non ionic and undissolved impurities first of all the ionic impurities in the form of the cation mostly the cations which are present they are calcium ca+2 magnesium 
Mg plus 2, sodium Na plus, potassium K plus, ammonium NH4 plus, iron Fe plus 2 or Fe plus 3 and manganese. Coming towards the anionic impurities, in that first we will look at alkalinity. It is because of the presence of bicarbonate, carbonate and hydroxyl ion. Along with that we have also the sulphate, chloride, nitrate and phosphate. Moving towards the non-ionic and the undissolved impurities, in that we can see the turbidity which is present, mud, dirt and other suspended matters are also present. Organic matter, sometimes we are also seeing the uh, colloidal silica, microorganism and bacteria. Along with that, few gases are also present in the form of impurities in water. They are carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, ammonia, methane and oxygen. Now, first of all, we will see the applications. The mostly the global water which can be used can be categorized mostly in the three types. The first one will be used agriculture which is nothing but the 69%. Second that is 23% a, a of the global water which is used for the industrial purpose and the 7% water which is used for we can say that the municipal, municipal water. Coming towards the hardness, hardness is specially defined as the amount of calcium and magnesium salts present in water generally in the form of bicarbonate, chloride and sulphate. Coming towards the TDS, total dissolved solid. On the other hand, measures the total amount of mineral elements not only on the calcium and the magnesium but some of the other salts also. Types of hardness. We can classify the types of hardness into two parts. The first one is calcium carbonate hardness and the magnesium carbonate hardness which is nothing but ultimately causes the temporary hardness. While non-carbonate hardness or it is also known as the permanent hardness which is due to the calcium sulphate, magnesium sulphate, calcium nitrate, magnesium nitrate and calcium chloride and magnesium chloride. Whatever the calcium plus 2 and magnesium plus 2 ions which are there, they form the hardness. Now see here the temporary hardness is due to the presence of bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium which can be easily removed by simple boiling. Let's see the reaction. Calcium bicarbonate when heated gives the calcium carbonate, carbon dioxide is given out and water is formed. While the permanent hardness is due to the presence of chloride, sulphate, calcium, magnesium ions which are present. This type of hardness means permanent hardness cannot be removed by simple boiling. Water hardness scale, if the hardness of water is in between to 0 to 75 milligram per liter, we know, we call as that water is a soft water. If 75 to 150, if it is ranges from 75 to 150 ppm, it is known as slightly hard water. From 150 ppm to 300 ppm, the water is known as hard water, while above 300 ppm, the water is known as very hard water. Here, the last thing we have to See here the different characteristics of potable water. Potable water should be clean, clear and colorless and it should be also the odorless. It should be transparent. It should be free from any impurities and the suspended solids. It should contain some minerals and the salt necessary for our body and some dissolved gases to added the test.
it should be free from the harmful microorganism its ph should be ph should be 7.2 to 7.8 in this section i covered properties of water types of water hardness causing salt and how we can remove the hardness temporary hardness and permanent hardness in the next video you are going to learn how to determine the hardness by edta titration method and we will solve the problem based on it thank you thanks for watching